So I'm building another woodshed. It's going to uh, have four posts, very simple lean-to type. Four posts, two five-footers in the back and two eight-footers in the front. It's gonna be 12 feet wide by 10 feet deep. So five foot, and once I put this beam on top, will give me another 10 inches or so. Um, actually, probably, probably closer to six or eight how I'm gonna cut it. But then on top of that, there's gonna be a raft. It's only a, a lean-to woodshed, so I don't need a lot of headroom in the back. The eight feet will give me a uh, three foot difference from front to back in 10 feet. So that'll be plenty for, hopefully even the snow will slide right off because it's gonna be a metal roof. Building this next to my uh, kind of a wet area by the pond. But I've put a uh, pad of gravel down and my wife's not gonna be happy with me because I tore up the little yard getting this gravel here. I've already squared up these paving blocks. I didn't want to dig these posts in like normal because um, I would hit water um, after digging pretty shallow. I'm gonna hit water because I'm so close to the pond. And I, I've already found that out by building this um, cabin here. Hopefully with these pads and they're all leveled up, once I build this thing, It'll kind of sink once it's tied all together, will sink at the, the same rate. But again, it's only a woodshed. I don't think if it's out of whack a little bit, it's not gonna be a big deal. Hopefully it doesn't get crazy and I don't have to fix it. I've put some uh, used motor oil on the bottom of all these posts just to help with uh, rot, but these are all timber, I mean, uh, sorry, tamarack posts, so there should not be a a problem uh, I don't foresee anyway for a very long time I can move the five foot posts easy enough the eight footers might be difficult but what I want to do is get these up and then braced with conventional lumber before I get these beams up and tie them in Those are big trees. Easy as that. And just watch it so it doesn't fall and kill you. Because it's 
going to be a pain to get that pole up up there. I'm not doing it by myself, that's for sure. So take two 12-foot 2x4s, crisscross them, get that stable, do the same thing here. And then I got some 2x6s that are 14 feet long. I'll put straight across and then do, I got shorter 2x4s I can come down on an angle. I didn't uh, cut that log straight enough on the bottom. So it's too tilted, so I'm just gonna shave off a little bit on one side. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not a perfectly straight line, it's a little wavy, but what are you gonna do? You're doing it with a chainsaw. Now I'm gonna flip it back down and re-oil the bottom that's the part that i want oiled the most is the grains on the bottom so hopefully it doesn't suck up water Okay, that one's level, a lot of gnats. It's good, good back exercise, good for the back, lower back. So I can brace that, grab these two two by sixes, tie in the back and front, and then I don't have to worry about this falling on the dogs or somebody else. All right, cool. I got all that done in uh, about four hours. Me and my buddy started the pad yesterday, got stuck, tractor died, had to charge the battery, blah, blah, blah. Get the, I have a trailer here with gravel. Then I got that fixed today. Got the Ford out of here. Brought in the Kubota with just buckets full of gravel. Finished up the gravel squared up and leveled the pads and then got all this done so now it should be somewhat safe i don't think it should fall down i guess i should test it yeah i don't think the dogs are gonna knock anything down so that's about all i'm doing today i get those two beams across Next time. What's our game plan? I don't know. <laughs> I think we should have one if we're dealing with this heavy log. 
was hoping I could just put it on the ladder and then lift it up there. <laughs> that rickety thing? Huh. That ain't gonna happen, but I'll go with it. I mean, I could get the tractor in here, but it's gonna be tearing up the yard. I don't know if we're physically strong enough. Make sure it stays on the top of the lab ladder. Okay. That's all you're kind of doing. The ladder's taking the weight. Tilt it toward me anymore, Bill. Where are we at? I have it on the ladder. Do you want me to let go Does of it? Does it feel stable? Ish. Okay. Log with your one hand. Okay. And then yeah. rest it on your shoulder. In between pipes. I'm going to drag it. Oh, okay, go ahead. You're like, okay? Yep. Hang on, let me try lifting it so you can drag it. Okay, yep. Go. Okay, hold on. Regroup. Okay. You going to do that again? No. Yeah, I am going to do that again because I got to get it all the way so it, it sets on top of there. Okay, I'll lift it and pull Ready? it. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, head up. One more time. Not yet. My sweatshirt's coming. But, okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, that's it. Okay. I don't think I, I can't lift it. So just... No, you cannot. You mess up with that. Is it too far away? Come back down. You need a different ladder on the left side. Well, they fit pretty good. I had to uh, adjust one over here a little bit. But uh, that's it. And then I got about two, two and a quarter inches that I screwed up on. I wanted that to be flush. But you know what? I'm going to say I left those there for uh, birds. The birds can nest there. Those uh, um, Phoebes, Eastern Phoebe because they make the nest in the eaves of my cabin there. So now they can nest there. The tractor came in handy. If you're gonna have a homestead, you should have a tractor with a loader. It really comes in handy. Um, and if I need to get something higher, I'll put the grapple on and I actually wedge a log in the grapple and make kind of like a boom. So that works out well. But now I just got to get this backside, and we'll be able to do that by hand because I can't get the tractor back here. But that's only five feet high, so.
Sweet, I don't even have to recut it. All right, that looks pretty good. Not bad for eyeing it up. Both of them look perfect, so, well not perfect, but really good. So I'm gonna find four rafters, start with four, I might need five going down. And then uh, I'm gonna put these in with timber screws, probably just one each is good enough. Um, and then I'm probably gonna put uh, cross, eventually put cross pieces in um, from here to here, probably three maybe on the sides, two or three, and two in the back uh, to help hold the, the wood and keep this whole thing, um, you know, like one unit so it moves at once, you know, nothing's um, gonna slip off these little pavers. Otherwise, the hard part's done. The rafters are easy. I just got to find them. Hopefully, I have some over um, my wood pile. So here we are in October peeling more logs. If you would have told me I would have been peeling more logs, I would have said October, they don't peel. So you have to use a draw knife. You can't use um, one of those scrapers unless it's really sharp, probably. But uh, anyway, each one of these logs, about 14 feet long, has taken about a half an hour of work. But um, it's it's dual. I needed to get two more rafters on top of the, the woodshed to complete it. And the only ones I had were pretty rotted. So... I went and cut one more tree down uh, for to, to finish up. So we ended up having to cut two more of these and we got them cut, dragged over limbed up and stripped and we'll have them put up within three hours so that's pretty good we're only going to do four rafters and then two by fours across five of them and then we'll be good put the tin on i also i'm going to put bracing i'm going to put two more here two more here and then three behind you so it'd be three all together to hold in the wood and keep it solid Windy day, like usual. We're doing metal working. That was loud, huh, Capone? Well, we've finally got it done. Um, 
I just got to throw some pallets under there and, and stack whatever. I might actually keep our tractor under here until I get our uh, lean-to off our barn finished. Because um, uh, with two tractors and, and the four-wheeler, I don't have enough room for stuff to put under roof right now. Until I get that lean-to done. So the Ford might uh, camp out here for a while. But uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good. It's got a good... Um, Good angle to the roof. I think the snow should slide right off. Easy enough. There's a few things I, I still want to do. I, I still need to put one more log across there and I'd like to put 245s right here just to uh, strengthen it up like uh, shear load or whatever you want to call it going back and forth. This way it's strong. But this way, it's got a little movement that way. So putting those 45s on the bottoms, like coming down, should uh, take care of that, I'm hoping. Not that it would matter anyway, because unless you bang it with the tractor or something, but um, that should stiffen it up a bunch. So we got a good headroom. I'm not very tall, but I can get back here just just enough to stack wood. So that's that's kind of what I wanted to to do. Well, all together it took me I think three different times I worked on this, three different weekends. But if I had all the material at one time, it probably only would have took me a day and a half. I think so. I think this is going to work out good for us. For now, we'll par park the uh, tractor under here. And then as I uh, uh, mill up the, the posts for the house, for the cordwood house, I think those will get stacked under here to, to dry uh, over the winter. Hey, if you like these videos, click like and subscribe. And uh, catch us on the next one.